want y'all to check out this video of Tony Gaskins. I just came across this last night. Just check this out, and then I want to run through it real quick. You know, it was brought to my attention that, you know, there's a whole segment of men and women, black men and women, that's waiting on me to fail. That's waiting on me, put, saying, you know, oh, his skeleton's going to come out the closet soon. All his skeletons going to come crashing down soon. And it's like, like, really? That's really the state that we in. Now, he just said that he have men and women waiting on his downfall, waiting for him to be exposed. I'm going to go two directions with this because he say there are men and women. When you have a spiritual ear, you have to listen because it will confirm everything that you are that we've been talking about when it comes to men and when it comes to women. Let's go with the men. The men that is waiting for him to, to fall, to be exposed, they're saying two things. Number one, they're saying they don't believe that there is no man who actually love his family, love his wife. Love his family and love his wife. That's walking the righteous path. They don't believe that because majority of them don't live like that. And he makes a lot of them feel bad for how low they are and for how terrible they treat their family, for how terrible they treat their kids and how terrible they treat the women that they date. He makes them feel intimidated. So that's why they're hoping it don't work out for him, that he fall down. That's what they just revealed. And they also reveal that no man really likes a woman like that. You see how they always in the comments talking about how men love women, they love women. So when you see a man loving a woman, why you don't believe it? If y'all love women so much, listen with your ears. In other words, what they also saying is they don't believe he's faithful. Because to them, they have never seen many faithful men. They, no, nah, you ain't faithful, man. Because ain't none of us really faithful, so I know you lying. That's what they saying. Listen. That's what they're saying. They don't even believe. They don't believe them. Because of how they live and how majority of the other men live around them and just that they know of. Listen. See, sometimes as women, it's good to be quiet and just listen. But see, here's the thing. When you hear what you hear, don't be in denial about it. Listen to it and believe it. And then use that, apply that to your life so you won't continue to be a victim all the time. See, in other words, they jealous of him. They jealous of the way he love his woman. You ain't supposed to love her like that. She just a woman. We don't do that, man. Because they think a man is somebody who's dishonest. A man is somebody who go and come as he please with no discipline. That's what they think a man is in society. He's only loyal to outside. Nobody in his family, nobody around him. He just loyal to the streets, which is that's not loyal to him. You see what I'm saying? This is what they just exposed to you. They, it, it ain't no need for you to keep going back and forth with these dudes. We already know that majority of, majority of them don't like women. You only like her to use off of her. But see, she don't know that. She's so naive. And for the women that want to see his downfall, see, it ain't just about him. It's about his wife. They are hurt and embarrassed that they never met a man to love her. To love her and lead her the righteous way. Getting money the righteous way. Doing something that uplifts other people, not just himself. They ain't never had a man like that. So they hate to see her have a husband like that. That's what it is. That's why the women want to see his downfall. Because truth be told, they want a good man too. But they don't feel like they'll ever get one. But I'm going to tell you something. As long as you stay out there in them streets and you keep seeking a man's face and not God's face, you won't meet one. You will not meet a man of God like that. Nope, you won't. That's just real talk. Because anytime you meet a man that's of good quality, what do you say? He's boring. Because he's not coming with a dysfunctional drama that you're used to. If you have a woman of good quality or a man of good quality, do not let this society ruin that for you. Do not let your little homeboys ruin that for you because he's disloyal. He want to stay outside. He don't want to be faithful to the woman that he's with. Don't let them girls mess up your relationship with your, a man of good quality because she got this hate in her because she never met a man that actually loved her. 
You see what I'm saying? Don't let these people corrupt it. Because like I told y'all before, it's the 5% out here. 95% of the, the world, the you people, are gone mad. They are turned out by pain. This is why you got to protect your union with whoever you have it with. Even when you have good friends, protect that union. Because there's a lot of hateful people out here who are mad that life is not working out for them in their favor. Come on now. Don't let nobody ruin it. You can't let them ruin it. I'm going to share something with y'all. And this is a prophetic word that I got from God that I only shared it with my friend. Because I'm going to tell you why. This word is a little dangerous. I'm only going to say this right here. Not many men and women will meet genuine women or men to marry. Not many. So when you meet you a man of God, of good quality or woman, you better protect it. Because the jealous people and them jealous spirits out there will come and attack you. Not many of them will have that kingdom marriage that they're longing for. That is the truth. If you are someone where you know God has spoken to your life and told you about a marriage, about a kingdom marriage, you protect that and don't speak a lot about that. Because what God is giving you is very rare in our society now. See, a lot of people got counterfeit marriages or friendships. But I'm telling you, when God has given you a promise, he has given you the real thing. And you're going to have to work overtime to not allow the devil or people around you to assassinate your marriage. Woo! Now, this is prophetic. I put it on everything. I'm telling you, when God revealed that word to me, I felt the danger in it. Because it's like that, it's like that time where everybody is, is, is searching around for this golden relationship and not many people can get it. That golden ticket. But God is giving it to a, a few of you, some of you. Most of the world will not see that type of marriage. Because most of the world will not come into alignment with God to get that type of marriage. Now, you better catch them diamonds. As you become more mature spiritually, you will realize that you cannot share a lot of things that God is going to do for you. You cannot share it because we know that favor is not there. You don't never know what they're praying for, what they're longing for. You never know that their heart is becoming bitter. So when you're sharing your good news about something, it could be something they want. And they ain't even heard back from God. This is why you have to become mature in the spirit to know what to share and what not to share with people. Because the same thing that you're sharing may be something that they're upset about. How God going to do it for you and not me? See, this is why you got to be quiet about it. Because I'm telling you, when it comes to these kingdom relationships, not many people will see them. They won't. They won't, they won't even give God, they won't even fully commit to God to even get all the things that God had in store for them. Come on now. They won't even commit to God long enough. This is a society of people who want something for nothing. I don't want to give nothing but give me everything, God. And it don't work like that. In order to be in this kingdom, you know, a uh, 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 divine marriage, you have to come into a place of purging. You have to go through the fire. However, how are you going to ever obtain something like that when you don't even go through your purging season? Come on now, catch them diamonds. So if you are a man and you know that you are moving on the path of being honest or living for God, you know, just want to go the righteous way, I'm going to tell you right now, move away from that crowd because your little buddies, they're going to be in the same spot when you drive back by in life, doing the same old thing. A dead end road. And if you are a woman that you are longing and, uh, you know, uh, wanting to come into this uh, kingdom relationship, I'm going to tell you right now that you ask God to heal your heart from any brokenness, any hurt, so that when a man comes along to actually love you, that you can actually receive him. Because a lot of women have been disappointed by all the men around her. So it's easy for you to have that, you know, to be on de defense mode. It's easy for you to have that cold heart. But ask God to heal your heart so you can receive the new life that he has for you. Catch them down.